Who is my favorite YouTuber? If I have to say one, I think I will say Swayback. <laughs> Funny guy. For Erling Haaland. Enjoy. Au sera charné. Vas-y comme Erling Haaland. Je suis au charbon, j'ai plus aucun regret, mais il faut pas que les bleus cassent ma te porte. Si tu savais ce qu'on s'est mis à faire pour du papier. Dans toutes les cités. Thanks a lot. Was a pleasure. Bafam. What's up, boys, and welcome to the 88 Erling Braut Holland, aka is he the best striker in FIFA 22 Players Way View episodia? That is right, we kick the year off uh, FIFA 22 with the first Players Way View being none other than our boy Erling Braut Holland. We're also going to put him into a full Bundesliga squad, showcase some of my favorite Bundesliga cards that we have got in FIFA 22, and uh, just have a merry old time. This is going to be the fourth and fifth game of FIFA 22 that I'm going to play, so you guys are going to be right there with me. Again, I want to say massive, massive shout out to all the boys that tuned into the Twitch stream last night. It was absolutely ridiculous, and I couldn't have done it without the EA Creator Network. The only reason I'm able to get on the full game early is because of the uh, because of the EA Creator Network. So massive shout out to them. Hey, smash a mad lad like on the video for Norway. Smash a mad lad like on the video for Erling Holland. Smash a mad lad like on the video for the first of many players wave views in FIFA 22. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. So it is the man of the hour. Everyone is talking about him. Of course, the way I do, I overpaid for him. I paid 180,000 coins. He's currently going for 90,000. I expect that price to creep up. Uh, as we get closer to full release and uh, we haven't even taken taking him into a game yet He still has that three star three star But it might be one of the reasons along with him being Norwegian that you get yourself a cheeky little discount on the card So I mean a massively massively jacked off version compared to his card last year High high six four has his own custom running animation now has the 82 acceleration 94 sprint speed 89 attack and positioning with elite level finishing has the 84 composure and then the only thing that you would kind of point out here is you know, the dribbling is 78, but we get it jacked off with the engine chem style. The agility is 75, that goes up to 79, uh, and then the balance goes up to 80 as well. So he looks he's it looks like he's going to be absolutely rapid with the 98 sprint speed and then the 86 acceleration. And then has some pretty decent, uh, has some has some good enough passing stats, I would say, to that. So, has himself solid player. Outside of that, nothing really too much to speak of there. Uh, but again, he's one of the feature stars. He's one of these, like, feature, uh, you know, featured uh, players. Um, you know, um, one of the guys, one of the hype boys, if you will, like Mbappe is. So, there might be a hidden thing in game with him where maybe his, just his custom animation, his custom run style, just makes him play better than he actually is in, if you compare him to another card. So, we've got the Bully Boys. We've got ourselves a cheaper version of a card. We've We've got ourselves a cheeky Daniel Malin, who I know a lot of people are interested to get their thoughts on. 82 finishing goes up to 92. Again, you want to get that shot power up a little bit, especially for a striker. He's got the outside the foot shot trait and again, does have the four star skill moves. We've got Silas, who we got in a player pick pack. We've also got Diaby over on the other side. We've got Amre Chan, one of the best uh, value midfielders, I would say, in the game. And then we picked up this Joshua Kimmich, who saw himself get an inform in this most recent team of the week, the first team of the week in FIFA 22. And looks like he's got some really good dribbling stats, some go to defending stats, 95 stamina, doesn't have strength, but on a card like this, you don't really need it. And he's got 86 long shots. And if there's one thing I'm really geeking out about, people are saying that long shots might be back in FIFA 22. So we've got Gunter, we've got Akanji, we've got Kloshti, we've got Paulo Otavio, and we're going to try out a downgraded uh, trap as our keeper. And then in terms of the kits, I've got the Vassell Kobe home kit, which uh, Joshua Kimmich looks great in. And we've also got the away Borussia Dortmund kit, and then the action Naruto run uh, for our our custom player celebration along with the Inter Miami badge. Get ready for the first gameplay on the channel of FIFA 22. I'm hoping that I'm not trashed in the game. I think I'm I think I'm 1-0 and 3. So I've lost 3 matches so I'm not doing great. But match number 1 with Erling Haaland, can we see if he's one of the better strikers in the game? Can he see if he is worth maybe the 90 or 100,000 coins? Erling and Joshua Kimmich and Amre Can, Daniel Malm, the Bundy boys, match number 1, Los Gates. All right, boys, our first opponent on the channel. Who's it going to be? And see, like, I feel kind of... Who is... Who is that? He's got Gomis. <laughs> He's good. Wait, does he have Schwani in net? Joshua Kimmich with his little dribbling. Looks really solid with the dribbling. Look at Diaby. Yo, look at the pace on freaking Diaby, dude. All right, left hand lock stick dribbling seems to be pretty OP. Erling with the custom run animation. We're gonna do a ah damn the body faint. I can't, dude. I can't even get around. I can't even get around one of his bronze defenders with the uh, with the Erling body faint. That has me kind of nervous. Thanks, Ryan. 
Thanks a lot. It was a pleasure. How? I legitimately don't know who needs to know this, but I'm currently in a game versus a guy with basically a half bronze squad, and I've not scored a goal yet. Come on, Erling! I just do it. Come on, the Erling Naruto run! Wait, how come I... Why couldn't I do the celebration, dude? I tried to do the Erling Naruto run. Okay, now, granted, it is against an absolute... It's, it's against an absolute shambles of a squad. This is literally his starter squad. He literally just started the game up, and he's coming up against me. So, I mean, it's it's not exactly fair. Okay, Erling Haaland. To Daniel Malin with the body fade, and then the... Bro, I gotta say, Finesse's inside the box have been tough, man. He's got an absolute trash keeper, and he's already made, like, two or three crazy saves, man. Another really sick part of FIFA 22 is this brand new, like, in-depth, uh... Um, in-depth stats, dude. I mean, like, everything from dribble success rate to tackle, you know what I mean? Like, like a bunch of crazy, crazy stats. Even has expected goals. I am, I'm expecting, they're expecting two goals from me, and they're expecting one from him. See how my wingers are making those runs? See how Erling's just through there, and then in on, in on net like that? Erling, my guy, we gotta have that, bro. I'm Richard! Amrichan with the absolute blast. Wait, is that the Naruto run? We got the Naruto run, boys. Come on. It's probably going to take me close to like two or three epis to get a feel for um, whether or not auto blocks is a thing, right? Because that's obviously one thing that was super annoying in FIFA 22. Do you, you see how my wingers are making those runs? Yabi, let's go, boys! Come on, the Erling Haaland, the Erling Haaland Naruto run. <laughs> Sue, come on, boys! Hey, that is uh, that is sick. Okay, so that was RB, that was RB square, that was RB square to do a curved, um, uh, a curved driven shot. You you see how my wingers are making these crazy runs? Nice, love that. And that should be game. Is that four 0 and again, I can't do. I can't get. I can't get too excited about it. I can't get too excited just because it's it, it's it's not a great right. It's not a great team by any means. He's got pretty much all. He's got pretty much all bronze and silver players. And eighty uh, seventh minute. I think this game is. Uh, this game is. Uh, this game is done and dusted, boys. And there you have it, boys. The match number one. Wait, what? Is this my home stadium? Yo, my G. What is going on right there? The, the stadium's like literally half full. Look at the heat map. Obviously, the heat map skews to the left side because that's where he played him. Also, I feel like he's best on the left because he's only he's got the left uh, he's left footed and he only has a two star weak foot. Look at all these crazy stats, dude. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you, man. That's super. That that's super cool. So saved his keeper actually. His keeper actually made some pretty crazy saves. Erling from that distance should be banging them in uh, left, right, and center. Cartaginis, Cartaginis. All right, so he's got a hecky. I think what is that? Is is that a is that a Batiste? Is that, is that a Batiste hecky? There we go! Erling Haaland, boys! Ready? Erling Haaland goes ahead, and again, it looks like the body faint. Another year where the body faint is going to be a very, uh, a very prominent skill move in everyone's arsenal. That's a good goal, to be fair. I don't know what happened there. Iago Aspas with the 82 pace. You know what I've noticed? I feel like I've noticed that you don't need crazy, crazy pace. Clusterman, Clusterman is legitimately a ball vacuum. Oh, we gotta have that. Okay, so that right there, now that I'm getting used to the gameplay a little bit, that left analog stick dribbling, dude, looks like it could be kind of saucy. And even though he doesn't have crazy agility, you guys saw what I was able to do there with uh, with Erling, just a little cutbacks. Yabi, Erling, body fate number one, body fate number two, and a saucy little shot. But his Neto gets the better of it. I'm kind of happy that we're down to one, to be honest with you. Come, come on, boys. You want to know what just happened there? I flipped the switch and I was like, you want to? I got to be patient. 
I can't rush this. I gotta be patient. Look at Diaby. Look at man like Diaby with the body faint. Got him! <laughs> Yo, Diaby! Diaby is an absolute legend as well, man. I'm kind of happy that we're down to one, to be honest with you. What is that? I'm kind of happy that we're down to one, to be honest with you. What? What? I'm kind of happy that we're down to one, to be honest with you. What even? What even? What even was that goal that I conceded to make it 3 3? What even was that goal that I can see? I have to see that. I, I have to see this in instant replay. I have to lit I have to literally see this in instant. Bro, this is now this is not okay. Erling Haaland had himself two goals. He gets an 8.8, .8, get two goals, one assist. Dribble success rate 72%, um, uh, 72%, which is much better than in match number one. Um, which is interesting because I played ba basically a full bronze in match number one. Clusterman somehow got himself a 5.8. I need to see this right here. W was it this one right here? Oh my dear God, I almost don't want to watch it. But look at Gonzalo Gedge just running down the flank. Just whipping... Is that my Clusty? Just whipping my Clusty around. And then, what is this? It hits... It, it breaks Trap's chin. Off the foot of... Off the foot of... I think that's... Uh, Akanji. And then... <laughs> I can't, dude. I'm gonna keep it an absolute buck 50 with you right now, dude. I would play another game, but I think I'm literally suffering PTSD from that goal that I conceded. In terms of on-the-pitch performance, he was very good. Um, he was uh, he was really fun to use because he's this really tall player. He's got his fun little custom uh, custom running animation, but uh, he is a little bit limited in the fact that he only has the three-star weak foot, just like he did last year. I think we're gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for like a, a special promo card or something like that to come out uh, where we're able to, you know, maybe he has a four-star weak foot or a four-star skill moves or it makes him a little bit more dynamic. Not, I'm not saying that he's one-dimensional, but he feels just a tad bit like he's just missing a little bit of something. So in terms of on-the-pitch performance, I'm going to give him a 3.5 out of 5, which means that I'm also going to go ahead and give him a 3 out of 5 in terms of value. I think you can get better value. Uh, you can get you can get better cards at this stage in the game. 90,000 coins, while it's not a crazy amount, I expect that to go up a little bit on release. Um, and uh, in terms of uh, in terms of my overall thoughts on the card, again, it's Erling. You know, he's, he's one of the channel legends, so we absolutely love him. Uh, but uh, in terms of FIFA 22, I think he's a very good option, but I'm not not quite sure he is an elite elite level option in terms of you know you know not having to worry about the fact that he is a three-star weak foot it would there would be a little bit more comfort if he had at least like a skill move or a weak foot or something like that or even a trait like an outside the foot trait uh, outside the outside the foot shot trait because he is so reliant on uh, on that left foot however he can bang goals in if you are in uh, if you're in a, a specific position in the box. But that is going to do it for the episode, you boys. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. I am very much looking forward to getting better at the game and learning all the meta and all that sort of stuff. So I, I guess you know we're all in the same boat when it comes down to that. We're all learning the game new together, and uh, that is you know one of the fun things, at least early days with FIFA uh, with, with a new FIFA release is, is learning the game and figuring out what works and what doesn't. But that is going to do it for the Epi boys. If you guys did enjoy, smash like. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.